Hey, welcome back to the workshop. For today's project, I'm going to be changing out the nut on my 1982 Guild D40. So the trouble with this is the corner of the nut has broken off right here where the uh, high E string goes through. So I've purchased a replacement bone nut from Stuart McDonald. This one is a uh, pre-slotted Martin nut and uh, as it turns out the, uh, the slotting, the string spacing, is just about perfect. That's going to save me a lot of time and effort. The factory nut on this guitar is stuck down pretty good with a thick layer of lacquer finish. I need to score it with a sharp blade so that I can tap this nut loose. Alright, next problem is, this is the old nut and it is just shy of .20 inches thick, say 0.19, and my new one is full 0.25 quarter inch, so uh, this one's going to be have to sand it down a little bit. So I've got my uh, known flat metal plate here, this is just a piece of steel, and we're going to start with 220 grit sandpaper. And uh, the name of the game here is to try to keep this as flat as I can. I'm going to move up to uh, 120 grit sandpaper to do some of my bulk sanding, and then we'll move back to the finer grits for the polishing up. This should be a little faster. Now a thing to mention with this is just having the steel plate under it uh, doesn't guarantee that this is going to be flat when you sand it. No matter what you do, there's going to be a tendency to take off more material anywhere your fingers are pushing. So if I push down at the ends and sand that way, it's going to sand harder at the edges than it will in the middle. So to combat that, I kind of keep turning it and trying to vary my finger pressure in hopes that over the whole process it'll even out and be the same thickness everywhere when I'm done. See so already it's 0.23 here and it's a little narrower at the other end 0.22. When I get down to about 0.2 I still have a little bit of sanding to do, but I'm going to move to the finer grits. Okay, we're down to 0 .20 now. And I can see it almost fits in the slot. But there's still a gap. It doesn't sit down tight. Moving up to 220 grit. Alright, that's about 0.19 there. Moving up to 320. Alright, through some miracle, it actually looks like it fits pretty good. Um, now, the nut is a little bit wider than this neck. It's going to have to be sanded down to fit in the sides. But before I do that, I'm going to temporarily put the strings back on to check the uh, height. We'll see uh, if it's going to be playable like this or if it's going to need more adjustment before it, I uh, finalize the fit. Okay, so that's not half bad. Uh, the important thing to note is that the string spacing is just fine. I don't have to adjust that. 
And uh, with this pre-slotted nut, that wasn't really something I could adjust anyway. So I'm glad that worked out. I don't have to throw this away. However, uh, the string height is really high. Um, and they do kind of stick up out of the nut here. I think I'm going to have to file these slots and lower that down a hair. And hopefully I won't have to file the bottom of this because the fit's pretty good. And I really don't want to change it again if I don't have to. I'm stuck trying to do this with these cheap needle files I bought from Harbor Freight. But uh, we're going to go slow and hopefully it all works out. So right now, the sixth string sits about 60 thousandths above the first fret. I want to cut it down to like half that. So, having watched a bunch of videos of, of guys doing this online, I can tell you, there's way more kind of fine-tuning and fiddling with it than you normally see on the video. There's a lot that, that doesn't get shown. I'm having trouble getting a nice smooth bottom to the slots with the files. So I'm going to fold some thousand grit sandpaper in half and try that. Yeah, that works real nice. I think we got the action height pretty well dialed in. So I ordered the cheapest string gauge I could get on Amazon. And uh, assuming the measurements printed on it are accurate, we're sitting at about 30 thousandths uh, string height at the first fret, which is uh, maybe just a hair higher than I really wanted. I can always go back and lower it. The last thing to do is to uh, trim up the corners here. They do stick out a little bit and there's some sharp edges. I want to go ahead and bring those, uh, sand those in so that it smoothly fits the curvature of the neck here and then uh, round the sharp corners on the top. And then basically this will be done. All right, I'm pretty happy with that fit. Now we just need a couple drops of super glue to keep it in place and uh, some brand new strings and this guitar is good as new. I don't want to put a ton of glue in here. I may want to remove this again someday. Plus it's uh, pretty well held by the strings. Uh, really the glue is just there to keep the nut from sliding around when you're changing strings. that about does it for this video. Um, you know, for never having done one of these before, I think it came out pretty good. Is it as finely polished and professional as it could be? No. But, uh, you know, we learn by doing. So if we don't do, we don't learn. And I think I learned a lot, and I hope you learned something too. So I hope you found that interesting, and I'll be right back here with another video just as soon as I can. See you then. Thank you.